Amid speculation that North Korea's latest missile test might have gone wrong, does this look like a man who's just overseen a failure? Leader Kim Jong-un seems to be grinning away any doubts in this image released by state media Wednesday, a day after the North's launch. North Korea announced that it had successfully test-fired its new Hwasong-16 intermediate-range ballistic missile, or IRBM, tipped with a hypersonic glide vehicle. But what's more, the North claims that all of its missiles are now solid fuel, shortening preparation time and nuclear capable with warhead control capability. Interestingly, North Korea's version of events differed from the South. According to North Korean state media, the missile made a 1,000 kilometer long flight. The South had detected that distance to be only around 600 kilometers. On the basis that the flight time was much shorter than would be expected for an intermediate range missile, analysts here in the South also suggested that the test had failed. But the North said, its hypersonic glide warhead reached its first peak at a height of 101.1 kilometers and the second at 72.3 kilometers as planned. Following related tests earlier this year, Kim Jong-un was quoted as describing the Hwasong-16 as a powerful strategic offensive weapon. But it's not just its power or hypersonic nature that makes it so threatening. It's the maneuverability of the hypersonic glide vehicle in its terminal stage of flight that makes interception of this kind of missile potentially more challenging, depending on the location of missile defense systems. From a defensive perspective, it makes it even more important to have defense systems in place to guard all key areas to not be caught out. This naturally translates into greater expenditure. The North Korean leader also said, it is the most urgent task at present for our state to develop the overwhelming power capable of containing and controlling the enemies. But if his goal is to deter those so-called enemies, we might point out that South Korea, the United States and Japan conducted a joint aerial exercise near the Korean Peninsula Tuesday in a show of force following the North's launch. In particular, that exercise involved B-52H bombers, the kind that can carry air-to-ground nuclear missiles. But the stakes have now been raised, with North Korea now effectively saying it poses a solid fuel, nuclear-capable missile threat as close to home as South Korea and as far as the U.S. mainland.